So I'm here with my 2021 What I Got My Kids for Christmas video. I have three children. Maxon is eight. He will turn nine in March. Amity is six. And Killian, my baby, will turn two in February. Um, they each receive one gift from Santa. In years past, Santa has brought a one of the smaller gifts. And Mommy and Daddy have provided um, the bigger gifts. But this year, they each get one big slash more expensive gift that will be from santa um, and then they each get a gift from each other and then they each get um seven so i think it's 10 gifts total seven gifts from me and their father uh i did not stay within the hundred dollars like i have tried to do in the past just because as my kids get older the things they want are more expensive and the cost of things are more expensive. And there's still deals to be had, but it's not necessarily what it has been in the past. Um, I do not remember what everything cost. If I remember how much an item costs, I will be sure to share that um, because I know that um, y'all like to know. Um, but some of the stuff I bought a really long time ago and I don't, I just, I just don't remember. Uh, also, there are a couple of things that I am still waiting to get, but um, I'm getting anxious to get started on my wrapping because I like to wrap two or three at a time than wrapping 30, 40 presents at once. So I wanted to go ahead and share what I do have and what I don't have. I will be sure to tell you what I'm getting and or insert a picture. So I'll start off with Matson. He is my eight year old. He as he gets older, um, his tastes get a lot more expensive. He is less into toys and he is more into like video games things like that. He is an avid reader. He loves to read, so he's getting a lot of gifts um, centered around that. And um, there is a couple of toys that I just picked up, but he is getting more away from the toys um, and into other things. Um, also, um, this year my grandparents did give me the money to buy the kids um, Christmas from them and so um, I thought what I may do is just at the end of the video I may tack on what I got for the kids from my grandparents so starting with Matson um, starting with his Santa gift he this is the one thing um, they're allowed to ask Santa for one thing and that is the only thing that they are almost guaranteed to get so far thank goodness they have not asked santa for any hot holiday toy items i'm sure that's coming um so santa has been able to come through every year and then the rest they make wish lists and i tell them you know you may get some of what's on your list you may get all of what's on your list or you may only get the one santa thing that's on your list they don't know and then i do share that list um with grandparents and things like that. So for Matson, his top wish, I tell him pick the top thing you want and ask Santa for that. The, the one thing that if you don't get, you're gonna be disappointed. Or if you only get one thing, this is what you want it to be. So he picked the Minecraft Dungeons Lego set and he picked the Jungle, um, I believe this is the Jungle one um he's really liking my he's always liked minecraft but he's really um liking the minecraft dungeons he got for cri christmas or his birthday last year. i think it was christmas last year um that we got a minecraft dungeons so this was his this is his santa gift and i will tell you that santa went to kohl's um kohl's had it for 39.99 same as every place else but Santa did have um, $5 of Kohl's cash at the time. So um, 
This was $35 and it was an in-store pickup so that um, there was no shipping. Then from his brother and sister, um, I usually take my kid to lot, kids to like five below um, places like that to, and they buy, they are each allowed to buy. Um, my husband takes them to buy for me. I take them and buy for, um, they choose something out for my husband and then for their siblings. Um, of course, Killian, you know, he's, he's young enough that he doesn't, um, shop yet or understand the concept. So, um, I actually got this from Matson from Killian. So this came from Ollie's and it was only $2.99. And at the time I may have had a coupon for 15 or 20% off my entire um, total. Uh, usually if I'm going to Ollie's, it's because they've sent out a, a coupon, but it's just, it's got six of these um, Lego Star Wars books. And he really likes the um, Star Wars Lego shows on Netflix. So, this is to Matson from Killian. And then Amity. Um, I did take her to Five Below to shop for her brothers. And this is what she picked out for Matson. So, it's the Ryan's World Combo Panda Lego knockoff. So, it's just the helicopter and the Combo Panda. Um... He likes Combo Panda. He very rarely is allowed to watch Combo Panda. Um, usually if he does something really good, like he gets a really good debt grade or something like that, um, we'll sit down and we'll watch one, maybe two, because he's about all I can handle episodes. But um, I do notice when he watches a lot of silly things, his behavior alters. So, um, it's not very often, but occasionally, like, that's a big reward for him is getting to watch Combo Panda, an episode of Combo Panda. Um, so, and his sister knows that. So, this is what was from Auntie. So, the rest of these things will be from me and his dad. So, he, um, he wanted... He wanted some new Diary of Olympic Kids books. Actually, he wanted this one. He has up to 13. But Target had a buy two, get one free. And they also price matched Amazon. So, um, I got the Wrecking Ball he wanted. But then I got the two after that. Which was um, the Deep End and big shot so now he has all of them he loves the diary of a wimpy kid books um he reads them over and over so this was on his christmas wish list so he's getting three of those and of course i'll wrap these up together and these will count as one gift he's um he wanted a new mario game he wanted the mario versus rabbits and he wanted um the Mario G King Origami game, um, but it was $60. So I told him he could only have one. Um, so he said, well, I want Mario and Rabbids for Christmas, and then I want um, Paper Mario for my birthday. Well, um, Mario and Rabbids was $15 as a Black Friday deal, but um, Paper Mario was actually on a Black Friday deal too for $27, I think. So I went ahead and bought both and um, that he said he wanted this one for Christmas. So I'm giving him this one for Christmas and I'm putting the other one up for his birthday or my mom may pay me back because um, she said something about buying it for him and she was going to give $60 for it. And I was like, don't give $60 for it. It may, it may go on sale for Black Friday. So she said that she would wait. She did not pick it up, but I did. So um, if she's still interested in giving him to that, get, getting him that, then I'll just let her pay me back. But he is getting um, the Mario and Rabbits from us. And then he's also getting um, Sonic Colors Ultimate. This is also a Switch game, but this has the little, a little Sonic toy in it. Um, and this was $20 from GameStop 
as a Black Friday deal. He's watched the Sonic movie, um, and he thinks it's really funny. So I thought that um, it would be worth a $20 Sonic game just to see if he's interested in the games or not. So he's getting two Switch games for Christmas. He's getting, um, the Mario game was on his wish list. The, the Sonic game was not. He requested Legos from the Lego movie. And he wanted the first Lego movie, not the Lego movie 2, but I could not find any. Um, so I got this up. This was also on clearance, but I don't remember how much. I want to say it was like $7, $10, or something like that. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So he's getting, I don't even know what this is called. Whatever it's called. They have names to them. But anyway, oh, Emmett's, Emmett's tricycle, thricycle, Emmett's, Emmett's thricycle. So he's getting that. So Legos and video games is kind of what he wants. And I'm sorry if you can hear my dog whining. He, here's my voice and he's wanting in. Um, he wanted a new Xbox game and they have, um, both the Xbox One and the Xbox 360. So I picked up because he is into Legos and he loves Skylanders. He has all the Skylanders games and dozens of the characters. Um, so they had this at Ollie's and it was $20 and I want to say it was 25% off. Um, so I got him this thinking that he might like to try this since he likes Skylanders so much. And I also got him one of the expansion packs, but I'm gonna save that for his birthday. Um, just because he's he has plenty for Christmas and his birthday's in March, which isn't long after Christmas. So um, I got him this and this says $19.99, but I'm pretty, it was either 20 or 25% off. So it was either 15 or $16. He, did not ask for this, but, um, this kind of goes with one of my daughter's gifts, and my husband was like, if you're giving her that, you've got to give him something, so, this is a Nerf cross bolt, and, um, I have absolutely no idea how much I paid for this. I want to say it was half off. I bought it... I'm ashamed. How long did I buy it? I actually bought it um, for my husband as a joke a couple years ago. And it, I just, I don't know why I never gave it to me. It got put up in a closet on a shelf somewhere. And I found it and dug it out. And I was like, well, since um, I'm getting giving my daughter what I got her, um, this will work. So, and this thing is like too big. But let's see, it was like $15, $12, $15. I don't remember. And then lastly, is that all for Matson? One more thing for Matson. One thing on his wish list was a board game. They have really gotten to where they enjoy board games, card games, playing as a family. And him and my husband, um, my husband kind of collects chess sets. Like he has several chess sets that he's found really interesting. And he has been teaching Matson to play. And so Matson will go get one of my husband's chess sets and says, let's play, Daddy. So I found this at Barnes & Noble. Um, and it was on clearance for $25. It was originally $60 um, at Barnes & Noble's. But it is the Toy Story Collector's chess set. And then it's so super cute. Super, super cute. So here's the toy. So on one side you have Woody and Bo Peep as the king and queen. And then Buzz and Jesse as the king and queen on the other side. So um, I think he's really going to enjoy having his own chess set. And this was actually a purchase made by my husband. He saw this. It was the last one they had. It was on clearance for $25. And he said, get that for my boy. So... I did. So, um, that is all for Matson. So, I will move on to Amity. So, Amity is finished.
she is a complete girly girly. Her favorite color is pink. She loves all things princess, rainbow, unicorn. <coughs> and, um, excuse me. So, her Santa gift, um, I don't have it, but I've ordered it. Um, so, I'll insert a picture somewhere, but it is a pink step two kitchen. Um, I'm really excited about it. She loves to cook. She loves to bake. She actually, if you ask her what she wants to be when she grows up, she's, she'll tell you she wants to be a chef. If I'm in the kitchen cooking, she wants to be right there in the big middle of it. We've actually made some Christmas candy for friends and family. Um, so she has a play kitchen, but um, it was bought used and it's kind of worn out. <laughs> like the, the door's off a hinge and it's been colored on and it's just not very pretty anymore. Um, so I found a really good deal um, at Kohl's. It was originally $80. It was on sale for $60 um, for Black Friday. I did not buy it Black Friday, but the price never went back up. It stayed at $59.99. And then um, Kohl's, I guess because I hadn't shopped there in a while, um, they sent me some Kohl's cash. Um, it was like $20 worth of Kohl's cash. So um, I ended up getting it for $39.99, so I'm super excited about that. So basically half price, what it would be full price, and I'm not planning on wrapping that. Um, I'm actually planning on my husband, you know, setting it up, having it all set up. So, um, I'm, I'm really excited about that. And that's kind of a joint gift, even though it is going to Amity, um, from Santa, but my little boy my toddler loves to play with her play pots and pans and food and things like that so i know that he's going to get a lot of enjoyment out of it too so that's um some toy one toy that i do think we will get our money's worth um but i have to like i said i'm, I'm still waiting on it i do not have it yet um, but it is coming so from Killian, she's getting this. She loves little things, and I thought this was super cute. And like I said, she loves to bake, she loves to cook, so it kind of looks like a little cupcake, and it has these little bitty pieces that she loves to lose. And then the little caring house, it reminds me a lot of Polly Pockets. Um, I do not know off the top of my head how much this cost. I'm pretty sure it came from Target and I'm pretty sure it was 70% off. So I'm thinking it was probably two to three dollars. Um, but she actually found some old Lala Lutzi dolls um, that she had gotten a couple years ago and she's really been playing with them and she actually asked for more for Christmas. So this is what um, she's getting from her younger brother. And then from her older brother, um, this came from Five Below. And um, it's just a water bottle. It's an LOL water bottle that she can color and decorate. And she she is very artsy and craftsy. Um, she she told me the other day she's so dramatic but she was doing something and i was like amy t that's beautiful and she goes oh thank you she's like i just live for art and i said you live for art and she said yes i just live for art so i thought that was really cute because she's my baby so i think everything she does is cute so this is what she's getting from maxson and speaking of lols she asked for lol dolls again this year I hate these things. Um, I hate these things. But she asked for them, so, and I already had them. If I didn't already have them, I wouldn't have went out and bought more. But um, last year, I ordered, like, I accidentally ordered extra. Was it last year she got these? I think it was last year she got these. Um, but... I accidentally ordered two of each one and of course you know they're different so they're not the same one she got last year hopefully fingers crossed of course they're a surprise you don't know what you're getting um and I just didn't send them back so again they went in my gift closet and if I needed a birthday gift or 
you know, I sometimes I sell things on Facebook Marketplace if they outgrow them before I can give them to them or whatever, but um, get my money back or even make a little bit sometimes. But anyway, so I already had these, so she needed another gift to make it even with her brother, so I'm just going to wrap these up together. And that was part of her wish list. Um, so that's from her brother, so everything else is from me and her dad. So I always try to get at least one book. Uh, Matson will have several, bless his heart, <laughs> um, but he loves to read. Um, he is a very avid reader. So, I got her this um, Stuck on Stories Princess, and it does, and it comes with a board game, and again, they're really loving board games and card games, so it comes with the Princess um, game pieces and then the book, and so, anyways, and this was five ninety nine, but I know I didn't. I know I had a coupon for fifteen or twenty percent off, so I probably gave four or five dollars for that. She did ask for some more of the comfy princesses. I love these dolls. Um, I actually have two that people have gotten me as gifts, and she has a couple that people's gotten her as gifts. So she asked for some more for Christmas and I keep these put up in a special place. They don't go in her toy box to get, you know, their hair to get m messed up or their clothes to get um, lost. So if she wants to play or she wants me to play with her, I actually get them down. And then when she or we are done playing, I put them back up so that they don't get messed up. So this is Pocahontas and Ariel and I'm so Decided to find these at Ollie's for $15.99. I probably had a coupon because I rarely go unless I do, but I don't know. So sh she's getting this, and this was one of her wants. Um, she asked for girl Legos. So, um, you know, girly Legos, I should say. She's gotten a lot of the Friends Legos in the past, but she doesn't seem to play with them as much as her brother's um, Legos. That he, like the, the, the Friends are okay, but she, she just seems to gravitate more toward his style of Legos, like the people and stuff like that. So, I got her this. So, it's the Lego Movie 2, but it's the... Uh, wild mayhem starfighter so it's the really pretty um, pink and light turquoise and it comes with wild style with the colorful hair and mayhem so I figured these were girly enough but it was the and I think it comes with Emmett and what was his name Rex I think so yeah so it comes with four characters and I thought it was really cute, and I thought she'd get a lot of play out of it because it is more the style that she seems to play with. And this was a really good deal. This was was forty nine ninety nine, and it was on clearance for ten ninety nine. So that was a really good deal. So that's the Lego she's getting that she asked for. She asked for baking stuff. Um, she does, but she does have all of the Welly Wishers. She got two last year for Christmas. She got one for graduating kindergarten, and then she got two more for her birthday. So she has all five of them. So when she asks for baking stuff, and again, she loves to bake, she loves to cook. Um, I picked this up for her. So it's baking stuff for her Welly Wishers, and then it comes with an apron for her Welly Wisher and a matching apron for her. Now, I got this off of the American Girl website. Um, I had some rewards and stuff, and I ended up getting it. It was on clearance, and I used my rewards, and I ended up getting it for $20. But I saw this exact same thing at Tuesday morning for $19.99. So I don't know if they still have it or not, but um, if you have a local Tuesday morning, you may want to check it out because that was that's a really good deal. I think this was... How much was this? This was like 60 or $80. Like this was 
pretty expensive full price. So, but so that's um, her baking stuff, hers and her wellies. Um, then I'm I'm excited about. I love baby dolls, so it makes me excited when she asks for baby dolls. Um, we were actually at a thrift store, and she saw this baby doll, and it was $15, brand new in the box, and she had a fit over it because it looked like a real baby, um, but I told her we weren't there for toys, and then I got her distracted and threw it in my buggy and put a bunch of clothes over it, so, but this is, I'm not even going to pronounce that, um, but anyway... And I actually text my friend Lori, who knows a lot about dolls and collects dolls, and she said that this is a pretty popular brand and that she was definitely worth um, $15. I don't know how much she cost brand new, but I thought she was very pretty. And then the last thing for Amity... Um, she's been really into watching a Brave a lot with, um, Merida, and she mentioned that she wanted a bow and arrow, and her, she's actually been playing with Max, and he had an old, old Nerf bow, I don't even know if it was a Nerf brand, he got it at Goodwill, um, but it's broken, the strings broke, and it's cracked, and it really needs to be thrown away, but I haven't, they play with it enough that they would notice if it was gone so I'm kind of hope I mean, of course Madison don't play with it much anymore but she still does so I'm kind of hoping with this that maybe that one can you know it's done its duty it's done its service it's, it's time to let it go um but I got her the Nerf Rebel Charmed and so, and this was at Target for $7.48. It was 20 or 70% off. And, um, honestly, I don't even know if these are still around anymore. I got this a while back. So, um, and then for her stocking stuffer, I also got her some refills. But, um, I'll show that in my stocking stuffer video. But, um, I got her a pack of the refill bullets, which... I didn't get Matt's in any refills for his Nerf guns, but I think he has, I mean, that's not his first Nerf gun, so he should have some um, Nerf bullet things around here somewhere. So that is all for Amity. So moving on to Killian, my baby. Okay, so Killian is 22 months. Um, well, he will be by Christmas. He'll turn two February 21st. He loves choo-choos, and he loves cars, and he started to notice certain animals like cows because my father-in-law um, has some cows, and he actually really enjoys playing with his sisters like play food, pots and pans, those kinds of things. So his big gift from Santa This big, ridiculous, obnoxious, ride-on Mickey Mouse choo-choo train with tracks, and um, how much tracks does this come with? I think it says 14 feet, maybe. I don't know. I thought I said, I thought I read somewhere on here that it comes, that it's 14 feet of train tracks. So, you have Mickey there on the front. So, there is that. This thing's heavy. Um, Santa has done lost his dang mind because we are getting ready to move. We are getting ready to downsize. And I don't know what we're going to do with this thing or the kitchen but Santa saw it and he said Killian would love that so Killian's getting it and um that was $65 at Walmart 
I don't know if that's a, that was a sale price or not. Um, I looked at several and that was about the cheapest I could find. Um, so there's that. So from Matson, he picked him out this little Mickey Mouse with a little red car because like I said, he loves car cars. So he's getting that. And I think he's only getting, no, he's not. He's getting 10. Never mind. Um, Amity picked him out this Squishmallows chip. So it's just this cute little beaver slash chick chipmunk. I, I guess it's a chipmunk. His name's Chip. Um, just came from Five Below. Um, and also not everything at Five Below is five dollars now. Kind of like the Dollar Tree's going up on their stuff too. This was at this was five dollars. Um, this was actually five fifty, but he, he's so soft. Um, but she wanted to get him something cuddly and soft, so that's what she picked out. So, um, everything else is from me and Dad. So he is really liking cows because his papa has new new cows cow cows so this came from barnes and nobles um and it was actually two dollars so it says 16.95 but then it says bargain price at 12.98 but then it had all, the big red sticker and a big sign that everything that had the big big red sticker was two dollars so this is actually two dollars and it's just a little book and then it has the little stuffed animal and i love for my kids to love to read so I try to foster that by overdoing it on the books. And I realize this, but it is what it is. So um, he's always playing with his sister's pots and pans. So he's getting his own pots and pans. I'm probably gonna regret this because these are metal. So they're going to be loud. It, <clears throat> and he does like to bang them. Um, but this will also go really good with the kitchen that she's getting from Santa Claus and so it's kind of a dual thing they can both play with these and they can both play with the kitchen and the more that they play with it um, the more that they like then the more I feel that I got my money's worth although this I actually did not buy this um, this was a duplicate gift that someone had given Amity and um, I just put it up and like I said, she has the other set that he loves playing with, but they kind of fight and fuss over them. And since she's getting a kitchen, I figured that that's not going to get any better. So I thought I'd go ahead and give him the other set. That way he, there's just two sets and maybe cut down on some of the fussing and fighting. Um, he does love cars. This was also in the $2 thing from Barnes and Noble. And it is just, it's a book, it's a puzzle, which he won't be able to do, but, um, and it's got some wooden vehicles, and it's just like a cute little play set, but I figured he would just really like the cars and the book, so he's getting that, because he does love books too, like he'll go to the bookshelf and bring me books to read, so, um, to go along with Choo Choo's, are you noticing a theme yet? Cars and Choo Choo's. Um, I got this Melissa and Doug wooden train set. I thought it was really... Sorry, my phone died. Um, so anyway, um, I picked this up from Target. It was on sale, and then I also used a 25% off um, one toy coupon on it. And I can't remember exactly how much it was. Um, I want to say it was like $10 after the the sale and the coupon. Um, it was like 10 or $12. So, he's getting that. And then, um, he's also, oops, he's also getting this. And this came from the thrift store. Um, this was $10. And it's just this really cute little, like, block set. So, it comes with these blocks. And it comes with, like, a tractor and a car which these were 50 cents a piece for some reason these were not in here with it these were sitting by themselves 
Um, so I guess $11 for all of it. But then it also comes with like the little critters. So there's some... Just like there's a little door, a little house. There's another little house. Um, several of the little critters that fit on the blocks. And then I just the little net so that it stores them which i really like so um anyway and this is actually um one of those gifts that i know that this is what's this called this is called a fisher price pop-ons i don't think they make it anymore because when i tried to research it to see if i could get any more pieces um it looked like it was all just second hand um but my older kids love playing with that thing and in fact my daughter knew where I had it hid and she'd be like can I go play with Killian's Christmas present um so anyway he's getting that and then the last no two more things um he's really started enjoying playing with my older kids imagine next characters in play sets they have a ton of them so this came from Tuesday morning um and it kind of reminded me of the Imaginex, only it's a little bit bigger. Um, and this was $14.99, but it has this on it, so I know it was on clearance anywhere from 20 to 60% off. Um, I, I don't know exactly how much. I want to say it was maybe 50% off, like seven fifty, but I could be wrong. But it's just like a pirate with the pirate cave and a trainer and boats and things like that. So I figured he might enjoy that since he's enjoying playing with um, Matson's like bigger Imaginex pirate ship. And they've got a big old um, Imaginex castle thing that they play with all the time. So um, I got him that. And then the last thing is something I made him just because I wanted to make him something. So I found this fleece, this piece of fleece in like a bargain bin at um, the craft store where they don't really have a yard left on a row. So whatever's left, they just wrap it up and stick a price on it. I do not have any idea how much I gave for it. I do not remember because... Um, I just, as I see stuff, I just, that I think I might like or have use for, I buy it. So I made him, um, cause he's so into cars, I made him this little fringe blanket. So, and I followed a tutorial, tutorial, um, my friend Lori, who's Crafty Lori here on YouTube, has a super easy tutorial on how to make these fringe blankets with just one piece of fleece. So it's more economical because you're only using one piece of fleece. And even though it has the fringe, it doesn't have like the really big hard knots and you can wash it and everything and the knots don't come undone. Um, I'm gonna link that in the description box below if anyone else wants to check that out. Um, but yeah, so this and it's not very big but i mean he's not even two yet so he doesn't need something that's very big but i just i wanted to make him something and he's just really he just really really loves cars right now and so um and i just and i had this in my craft room and i wasn't doing anything with it and i didn't really have a plan for it and it wasn't really big enough to do much with and so i saw it laying there and i thought i'm going to just make him just a little blanket that he can carry around with him or since we're getting into the colder months because january and february is where it gets really cold where i live if it gets cold at all it's going to get cold in january and february um you know so when we're in the car i can just throw it over his car seat so that's all that the kids are getting from santa claus each other and us but i will go ahead and share what they are getting from my grandparents. So for Christmas this year, Nana and Papa, which are my grandparents, um, they're the ones that we are moving closer to help take care of. Um, they just gave me money. 
and they said just buy the kids some things that you know they'll like and that we can put under the tree at our house that they can open when we go to eat a Christmas dinner with them. So Killian's is going to be small and inexpensive compared to the other two because Nan and Pop, the big expense of the money they gave me for him is actually part of the train. So it's part of his big gift for Santa from Santa and I even suge I suggested um, setting it up at their house and they did not want to do that because they were afraid uh, since it's a ride on and it's ba battery powered that some of the other grandkids might want to ride it and might end up breaking it because Killian is the youngest of five. So they said just set it up at at your house and just get him a few things to open at our house that way he just has some things to open so um that's why his stuff is going to seem small and inexpensive compared to mattson and amity's but um he loves taking a bath so i found these barnyard stickers for the bathtub at ollie's he like ollie's um a lot of presents came from ollie's this year it was 2.99 again no, I had a coupon, 20, 25% off. So um, it's probably closer to $2. But I thought he would enjoy these since he does really like to take a bath. Um, really into cars. So I got him this Mega Blocks First Builders Zippy Zack car that he can take apart and play with. And then I got him the other, so this was $2, um, but this was the pig, like the cow that he's getting from us, only this is the piggy version. So it comes with the stuffed animal and the box. And then they're each going to have four things to unwrap, but the other thing for Killian, I don't have yet. But it's one of the toddler steering wheels where you have the steering wheel and the gear shift and um, I'll insert a picture of it but I think that was on sale on Amazon for like 13 14 dollars so those are the four things he's getting from Nana and Papa so then from Nana and Papa my son is getting and I haven't even opened these yet so um Target had their buy two get one free book sale which i always take advantage of um this is another series he really really likes and that's the bad guys he thinks they're hilarious he will read them he will read one whole book in an hour um of course it's easy reading so but he loves these he asked for some new ones for christmas so this was on his wish list so he got three of those because buy two get one free so he he's really he, he usually he just asks for one but i always wait till the buy two get one free sale and then end up getting um three of them so and then he's getting the take the tag thing they had on there off the Switch Plants versus Zombies Switch game. He has been reading the Plants vs. Zombies comic books from the library and really likes those. He wanted the video game. GameStop had this at a really good price point. I think it was like 15 or 13.99 maybe, 14, 15 dollars. So he's getting that. And I forgot one of his things, so I'll be right back. Okay, so um, also from Nana Pop, I picked this up at Walmart on Black Friday. It is, these are one of the few toys he still plays with a lot, are these big action figures. He has the Avengers, he has Star Wars, he has some individual ones that, um, you know, he's just gotten the 5 or $10 ones throughout. Um, 
but Walmart had this is a Black Friday deal for thirty dollars. So and there's these are like ten dollars each if you buy them individually. So that's there's one, two, three, six of them. So this is like a sixty dollar value. So it's basically half off. And I was really excited because he's a big fan of Venom. But trying to find anything Venom is just like I'm gonna have to get to this really fast or my phone's gonna die again. Um, but trying to find anything Venom is really expensive. So, anyway, so he's getting that from them. And then lastly, his big, as far as expense gift, is this Super Mario Starter Course Lego set. This was really big on his wish list for Christmas. Um, this came from Target. It was on sale, I want to say it was like 40-ish, so I, maybe, I don't, I don't remember. Um, but... So, he's getting that from them. Then Amity, um, she's really into Barbies, loves Barbies, but really loves, like, the little, like, little dolls. So, I got this um, Princess Staircase Castle for her. And then it has the little Barbie in it that's the size of stuff she's really liking to play with right now. I don't remember how much this was. It was on clearance at Target, but I don't remember exactly how much. This came from Ollie's. I I thought they'd get a kick out of this. So you just tie this onto your booty and try to shake the eggs out and collect them. So I thought they would get a huge kick out of that. $5.99 at Ollie's. Yeah, no, I had a coupon, so probably closer to four. Um, Lala Loopsy, um, because she actually asked for some more of these. So this was $4.48 at Target. And then her last big gift from Nan and Pop is this Baby Alive Sweet Tears Baby. She also really likes to play doctor and dress up. So, um... Super cute. She's well, you take my temperature. I feel a little bit better. And I think she actually cries. So this was um and I got it at Walmart because the Walmart one came with a spare outfit. I think this was around $30, if I remember correctly. I may be wrong. So, that is what my kids are getting from Christmas. At least from um, what I know about. And my mom will get them stuff and my husband's parents and all that. So, that they're getting plenty. They're spoiled. But, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching again this year. And I will talk to y'all later. Bye.